Okay, we've got a classic histogram question, last question on the paper. It's an A-star topic. It's a classic one where we've got a table partly filled in, we've got a graph partly drawn, and we've got to use each of the other bits to fill in the others. So we'll use the table to fill in the histogram and the histogram to fill in the um, table. The bit we've got to remember is we've got to remember that the frequency of a bar uh, my apologies that the frequency is equal to the area of the bar on the histogram so the frequency is the area so between 10 to 25 that bar has got to represent an area of 30 30 to 50 has got to represent an area of 50 and 50 and 60 has got to represent an area of 20 well that's our starting point this one here is our starting point because that's the only bar we have here which we also have information in the table so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide up this bar I'm going to divide up uh, into sections so I'm going to divide it up one two three four five sometimes it's easier on your proper exam paper because you can see the bar lines if not two three four five I'm just dividing up into little sections like this so you can see that I've got to get an area of 20 so each of these little boxes has got to equal 20 so there's one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight boxes so I've got to do 20 divided by 8 which is 2.5 uh, and it's tomato plants in this case plants so each one of those boxes box that looks like that in size and I will draw it on my thing represents two and a half plants and that's that up two and a half five ten fifteen twenty and that's what we want so now I need to go ahead and I need to work out well this represents two of those boxes so the bar between 0 and 10 represents two and a half five plants so I can fill this out and the other bar I've got here is if you can't see it then divide it up to all over your graph perfectly acceptable two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those. Each of them represents two and a half. So it's two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half, fifteen. So it tells me that that bar represents fifteen. Now I need to go ahead and I need to fill out thirty. I need to now fill out fifty. The bar's got to go from ten to twenty-five. So it's got to fill up this gap here, and it's got to go up to thirty. A frequency of thirty. So let's go ahead and let's have a look. If the bar went straight across here, that would be three of my little boxes, which is 2.55, 7.5. Now I need to go up to 30, so I need to be double height would be 15, triple height would be 22 and a half. So I've got to go all the way up to there and all the way down to there. In fact I've gone slightly too high. I need it to be exactly like that. So therefore I can go and rub out this here. Let's actually just take those out. So that goes up to 30. Now my next section here I've got to go up to 50, so between 30 and 50, I need to go up to an area of 50. So let's get this. If I took the bar across here, that's going to be four boxes, which is going to be 10. So I need 20, 30, 40. I need to go this high and down. So, and if I divided that up, so as each one's going to be four little boxes across, which is 10 plants, another line is 20, another line 30, another line 40, and the final line 50. So I've just used this two and a half plants as one box.